All right, good evening. These are your notes for 4-5 scatter plots and trend lines. You have an essential question. And make sure you write your essential question at the top and you have summary where you've answered the essential question at the bottom of your Cornell notes. Your essential um, question for today is you need to predict whether there will be a positive, negative, or no correlation to the following situation. Okay? Predict whether there will be a positive, negative, or no correlation to the following situation. Conduct a survey of your, if you were, don't actually do this, but if you were to conduct a survey of your classmates to find the number of siblings they have and the number of pets they have. Okay, so you would graph the number of siblings and the number of pets. Would you find that it has a negative correlation, a positive correlation, or no correlation between the number of siblings somebody has and the number of pets somebody has? So that's your essential question. Now, a scatter plot is, my markers are all missing. A scatter plot is a type of graph that looks like a function graph that is discrete. It looks like it just has a bunch of dots that aren't connected. Okay? It looks like a discrete function graph. And on this side and on this side are two different comparisons. So it could be the number of pets to the number of uh, siblings. It could be favorite color and number of your birthday, your month of your birthday. It can be any two things you want to compare, okay? Most often what you see a comparison is, is time and quantities. Okay, so in our first example in your book, you'll have the calendar year and then the number of species, okay? So they have in our graph, um, let's just not put that information on here, but look at our graph and we have some dots. Say our dots are, like that. This would have no correlation because the dots are all over the place. Okay? There could be dots over here, dots over here. means no correlation. There's no rhyme or reason or relationship between, I can't spell today, correlation between the dots. They're just there. Okay? The other two options for correlations that could have a positive correlation or a negative correlation. A positive correlation looks like all the dots follow in a line like that, where it's sloping upwards. So all the dots aren't necessarily on the line, but they're generally in that area, okay? Would be a positive correlation. You could also see a positive correlation that looks something like this. The dots aren't going as high up the graph, but they're still going in generally an upward left to right motion, an upward slope. Looks like it's going up the mountain. Okay, if it were a, that's a positive correlation. If it were a negative correlation, the dots would go like this, where they're going in a downward direction, a downward slope. Okay, and that could be a real steep one, or it could just be like this. And if you have maybe one dot or two dots that are kind of not on the line, it's still a correlation, but most of your dots are right there along the line. Okay? So that's how you match your, your identify your correlations. Okay? You could also be looking at a graph and trying to decide what story problem it goes with. And you just have to look at your dots based on the information that's there. If you have, say, time, on this side, and let's say you have height over here, okay? And you have dots that are doing this. So as time goes on, your height goes up. So this means a person would be growing, or a plant's growing, or something's growing, because as time goes on, the height gets taller, okay? If it were a negative correlation like this, then that means somebody's shrinking. Maybe it's a plant shrinking, or a tree was cut down, or something like that. But they started out tall, and as time got on, they got shorter. Okay? And in this situation, as time goes on, they didn't get any taller. It's just pretty much stayed the same. Okay? So that's how you match up a graph 
to a story problem. So your only vocabulary words were positive correlation, negative correlation, correlation, okay? And then you have two more. Okay? Correlation, remember, means just the relationship between your points in a graph. Then you have positive, negative, or no correlation. You have the word trend line. And that's the grind you were seeing. If these were our dots, that's our trend line. The line you can draw, that's the trend line. And then you have scatter plot, which is what we're talking about. Okay? This spelling's in. Scatter plot. All right? The actual textbook definition is a graph with points plotted to show a possible relationship between two sets of data. Okay? That's really annoying and long and hard to understand. Scatter plot is just a graph with comparing two sets of data. A graph comparing two sets of data.